So continuing on the controversial topic of formal education when it comes to building a career in audio, well, I actually did a little bit of research and I researched two institutions in my city. And what I found out was pretty shocking. Most of the alumni from those schools, from what we can see in regards to the data, actually don't end up working in the field that they most likely desire to. So a lot of them end up working as either teachers in the same institutions that taught them or end up working for audiovisual companies like Encore, Prospec, Solotech. And I went on these uh, basically these institutions LinkedIn pages and you can see where the alumni that you know basically stated that they studied at that school ended up working and as we can see on the Trebis LinkedIn page most of them end up working at Trebis okay so that's one thing another popular one is Encore so like I said audiovisual service provider and they're they're actually kind of desperate for audiovisual technicians so that being said, let's move on to another institution. So we have Musi Technic, and this one was actually the most shocking because as you can see at the top, uh, most of the alumni end up working at a company called Prospec. So this is, the, is not the kind of stuff you need to go to school for and definitely not where you wanna end up after having dished out tens of thousands of dollars to study audio.